Hi everyone, um, we're at Tock Holes on the top of Winter Hill. Uh, we had to pack up from um, Witchwood to live them pretty quickly and leave because some people have come along. And it's okay if you're doing paranormal for people to come along and join in, but when you're doing witchcraft stuff, it's a little bit different. A lot of people are a bit freaked out by it because they don't really understand it. So one of the things me and Andy are going to do in this series is do some rituals and explain exactly what we're doing and why, what it means, what it what it was in the ancient times of pagan traditions, and uh, hopefully people understand it and accept it a little bit more. So now we're on Winter Hill, uh, Tock Holes. There's two derelict farms in ruins, and we've got a well behind us which is haunted, so we're going to do 15 minutes in each of the three locations and just see if we get anything. So we're going to run EVPs, we're going to do a Spirit Box and Deadcom. Uh, so I'll take the camera All right. <laughs> and then Andy's going to do your thing. I love that torch. Thanks. So these two farm houses, they probably go back about two, three hundred years but they've been derelict since at least the 1950s. I believe they just moved into, built new farms and moved on and let these go to ruin. But there are still some bits and pieces around. Um, you can still the, the layout of the actual place. This, is, this would have been the front door where we're standing here. I'll just walk out, turn around and come back and then you can see. So this would have been the front door and those were the steps going into the house where Andy is. So that would have been like probably the main living room. And then uh, as you walk through, you can sort of see the layout where the other rooms were. Um, I think there's a bit of broken kitchen sink back there somewhere. So if we can find that, then we know that was like the kitchen or the outhouse. So if you look this side here, it's divided up into, it might have been like bedrooms or smaller rooms anyway. Um, and then at the back, I think this was probably like a step going outside and then at the back here, there's like a really deep uh, room. So it must have been the cellar, that has got to have been the cellar. Um, and it goes like in an L shape and some more of the houses over there. So it's literally all just derelict. We set the dog ball up. And we've set the uh, EMF meters up. We've dusted them here and there just in case we get any activity. And there's still like pretty large room back there as well. So it would have been a big place. I'll just have a look over here. And then Andy's just setting himself up and we're going to ask out in a minute. Just want to give you a layout of the place. Oh look there, see there's a bit of broken sink. Can you see that? That's like an old stone sink. So this probably was the outhouse kitchen area or something. There's some steps, but they aren't grown over. There's grass all over them. Yeah, this might have been like a pantry, this bit here. So, yeah, we're back to, um, and in the floor right there, there's a hole. I bet that was the toilet. Because <laughs> back in them days, <laughs> They'd have just had the old hole in the floor. They wouldn't have had like um, toilets that we have. Uh, going back to the 1970s when we were growing up, we can remember the outhouse with the outside toilet. My auntie, she had an outside toilet. And if I was staying at her terraced house, we had to put our nightgowns on, bathrobes, slippers and go outside, and go across the cobbles to the toilet. So it probably was the toilet, that hole in the floor. So Andy's going to ask out and see if we've got any spirit people who want to come forward that are connected to these farmhouses. This is this trust. What does it say? Section? This and trust. And trust. Yeah. Maybe. But the thing is we've got one farmhouse here and we've got another farmhouse over there. So there were two separate farm houses, but they probably was the same family. Yeah. And they probably did have to divide it up at some point. I'm not wondering if you came down in that pond there. Where? I'll leave with this fact. I might take that with me. 
Yeah. Can't do what leave it here. No, it's do what you want. I'm just going to walk around and film. But if you're doing any uh, asking out and recording, I'll. I'll just I'll do an EVP around here. All right, yeah. Are there any spirit people here, please, connected to these farmhouses? Would you like to come forward? I'm Alison. This is my husband, Andy. And we're here to visit your home. We'd like to be friends with you. Stay here. Shot. Shot. Who shot? The shot has in gone. Shot has in. Shot. So yeah. why did this? Why did you leave this farmhouse abandoned? What happened? Did somebody die? Yeah, there's some noises back here. Are there any spirit people here? Please come forward. Front. 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 Well, that's the front of the house where you are now, because that's the front door there. That mist is um, not paranormal, by the way. It's my breath. Oh, it's pretty cold now. It's been a lovely night, really clear. The moon was up. We were, at, which was. String. His turn. That's the dead cop. Let's talk through this red light. What background while I'm just checking the EVPs? It's like the steps, but they're all overgrown with grass. Can't easily go flying here. There's that sink again. Right, we're back on flat ground now. Look at that. It's like the stone steps, but they're overgrown, so you can't actually see where you're putting your feet. There's a post. Oh, that's the wall. So this. There would have been another room. This is the doorway here. I've put an EMF meter there as well, so I'll keep an eye on that. And the dog bowl. It's just over there. Okay, let's go this way. I'm keeping quiet because Andy's asking out again, so... 
don't want them to pick up my voice. You can see the walls. Is there anybody, are there any spirit people here who used to live in this house? Please come forward. Come and show yourself on the camera. I'm going to come to the cellar and see what you keep in there. Hopefully not a body. Hopefully just regular things like cheese and meat and wine. I think there's some steps. Let me have a look. Yeah, they are the steps. All right, let's do it. Let's go down. Can I go fly? If I disappear into this hole now, like Blair Witch, they'll just find the camera. <laughs> this is really well damp and creepy. Oh, it's all overgrown as well. It's like Jurassic Park down here. Problem is, you don't know where you put in your feet. All right, we're in. Did anybody used to use this cellar for anything? Please come forward. Did you keep your cheeses and your wines and your eggs and things here? Your meats? Please come forward if you're down here. Perhaps you used to work down here. Got a lovely full moon up there as well. Look at that, peeping through the trees. It's not quite full, it's just a little bit off. It's really silent. So this is the cellar, so we'll find our way back out. I'm going to see what Andy's doing and see if he's had any result on the EVP. Because we did do this place once before, a couple of years back, and um, we actually recorded some singing. You know where the uh, sink is? We actually recorded uh, a bit of singing, like a woman sort of just going about her duties and singing. And sometimes like you don't really hear it until you get home and then boosts the sound. Like I don't know if anybody noticed, but last week when we did the skirridan, when Andy knocked on the church door, something knocked back. But you're only going to hear it really if you've got like a, if you connect your laptop up to speaker. You know, you can do it with Bluetooth or you can just do it. Uh, plug in extra speaker and if you've got that you can boost the sound you can hear it when he knocks um, on the door after the graveyard investigation we're walking back and he knocks three times on the door he got a knock three knocks back which is supposed to be what happens there anyway so I put the dog ball it's there that wasn't flashed did you get anything back on EVP no, nothing. nothing. Alright, so I think I'll pick up the dog ball on that. We'll have a walk up to the other farmhouse now. Because we're going to do 15 minutes in each spot and then there's enough time. So now you can have your smart break. I'm being a typical wife. I bollocked him before for having a fag because I just set everything up and I was ready to record. And what does he do? He lights a fag and I'm like, ah! <laughs> anyway, anybody out there who doesn't smoke, whose husband smokes, will know exactly what I'm talking about. Or vice versa. Anybody out there who doesn't smoke and the missus smokes, you know where I'm coming from. <clears throat> you know where I'm coming from. You're just about to set foot in a building and then you have to wait. You're just about to get on a train or a plane and then you have to wait. You're just about to start filming and then you have to wait. I ain't bothered, you do what you want mate, but I'll get on and film man, <clears throat> I'll get on and film, but you never know, you might bring the pipe smokers forward, the tobacco people and all that, so whether your vices are drinks or smokings or drugs, it don't really matter because there's always going to be a ghost that's into all that, so Scottish. just bring them forward, what does that say, Scottish? Spotty. Sounded like Scottish. <laughs> I was talking about <laughs> drinking and smoking and drugs and it said Scottish. Spotty. Yeah. Spotty. Spot Maybe it was a dog. Spotty. Spotty the dog. Spotty. All right. So I'm going to walk over to that other farmhouse now. Can you pick up the yellow? Have we got the, uh, I've got everything. Got the, Just um, need to get them torches that are there. Yeah. yeah. So I'll walk over to the gate post to the other one so we can find the entry better. 
this one's a bit more like of overgrown that one there's a really creepy tree as well it's like that creepy tree from uh, the conjuring you know the conjuring where that she sees the body hanging I'm trying to see if I can get the light on it for you to see it better it's like just a completely bare tree there's no nothing it's a bit faint but just reminds me of that tree in the conjuring Alright, let's have a walk up here. This is the entrance to the second farmhouse. I get the feeling, oh, this possibly might have even been the barns because it looks much, much, much bigger. But it's got proper gate posts on it and everything. So maybe, uh, we'll have a look anyway, see what we can make of it. See the gate posts. So I'm not sure if that might have been a barn where they might have kept all the fair machinery or something. But there's buildings here <coughs> that they're made out like a house layout, so no. tell. That looks like a chimney breast over there, doesn't it? Right yeah. at back. <coughs> I think this would have been the bigger of the two. Yeah, oh no, it's, is it a chimney breast? It's just past the wall. Oh my god, this is what happens. You can't find the steps because they're covered in leaves. I just need to put a couple of things down a minute and sort myself out. I'll put the MF here. Are we, use, are we using dead comp still? Yeah. Well, we've got the radio, have you got the radio? Could try the radio. See if we get any spirit voices coming through. So another thing that this area is renowned for is some UFO sightings because we're not far from the television mast and there have been some UFO sightings around especially on the tops behind us where the mast is Shall I just pan round and show you? So we've got a nice moon up there <laughs> and that's that red there that's the television mast at the top of Winter Hill there in the distance and the UFOs have been seen like everywhere in this area in the past, different people who come up here and do that kind of thing. Which, you know, if we saw one, we would follow it through. You know, we would do like um, a few weeks on UFOs. And the other phenomena they have up here, people have reported seeing something and they're not quite sure whether it's alien or um, creature, but it's very hairy and on two legs, but with Similar to kind of like a Bigfoot, but smaller and more like a wolfish face. Now, I'm not a big believer in these kind of um, sort of folklore things, but when you've got people, credible people coming forward, like dentists, you know, and wa wa walking clubs that have been coming up here for years, and then there's a group called Winter Hill Paranormal as well who've had their own experiences up here, so you might want to check out their YouTube channel. They're always up on these moors looking for stuff. I think with ghosts, yeah, I believe in that because I've had experiences from being like five, six years of age because of my parents' house. And then UFOs, yeah, because I did have an experience a year ago, um, August, the day we was going to Bloodstock, I thought I'd seen something in the skies. But when it comes to like critters, I'm not sure, you know. I'm sure people are having experiences seeing things they can't explain and such, but I find it hard to believe that there's still werewolves and things around. Although, you know, in the States they're doing a lot of stuff on werewolves at the minute, YouTubers and that, and even some in England have started now, so... We should keep our eyes out for other things besides ghosts. 
It's good. So it feels good. Oscar River Fairmost is haunted. Is the Fairmost haunted? Because that what last time felt scary. Did it? Uh, yeah. Um maybe they've seen UFOs and don't know understand what they are. Oh yeah, okay. Yeah. Or maybe they've seen these critter things that people keep going on about, what these two legged scared of? This is the second time you've said that. Tell us why you're scared because a lot of people get scared in these places. Not scared of us. We're your friends. Today. Today. I felt scared. Today. today. Why? Why did you feel scared today? What did you feel scared of today? Why today? There's nothing to be scared of us about. That's for sure. We just want to know your story. We just come to talk to you. Yeah. We're from different eras, but we can still talk and be friends. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You can tell us what the farm was like in your day. We just want to know what, what, what happened here and why all these buildings. I'm sure it was a lovely place at one time. What made you feel good? Guy. Guy? What guy? Maybe it's one of your guys she's frightened of. To worry whatsoever. Really nice people. Don't worry about it. Not one bit. Not one bit. I won't be talking about my guy. He's drunk and disorderly. I can't say too much without him. He's all right. He's all right. Can He's good, Lewis, but he does like his can run. Can be a bit mischievous. Very mischievous. But uh, yeah, no, I'm. no. No, don't be frightened of any of our guys. You can, can you see us? Where are you? Just film the box and then you can see these words actually coming up. This is making real sense, isn't it, Andy? It's good when you can get a conversation okay. going. Let's just fil film it and then we can show everyone that we've got so far. can see. Yeah. Felt scared. You can oh, look at the way they spelt it too. That's like they wouldn't have been able to spell back in them days. can see. They spelt... Yeah, but look, it felt scared, how oh, they spelt scared. Just let me f film it again. Look, and we can show everybody. At Miss Felt. Scared. Oh, it is right, sorry, I thought it was a couple of hours, isn't it? Today. Let's keep it still. Guide, can see. So maybe they can see your spirit guides here. Can see. And just to uh, explain to everybody. And the spirit guides, and they're also my spirit guides too. Um, are the Pendle Witches, Elizabeth Southern, Elizabeth Device, Alison Device and James Device come with us everywhere we go frequently to protect us because we do witchcraft and we've studied books on the occult, we've explained all this in previous programmes. We invoke the Pendle Witches okay. to come with us to keep us safe and protected wherever we go, whatever we do. Lewis is my own personal guide, he's my guardian angel. What can you see? We've got a dog ball if you want to play with this. See if you can light this coloured ball up. There might be someone younger who might want to play with it. Yeah. Come and play with that ball. It'll flash all different colours if you play with it. Like magic. Yeah. I'll put a second EMF meter it as well. And at least we know where the spirit is standing if they're communicating with us. If they're anywhere near these devices, then the light up. Yeah, yeah. Let's do that. Thank you. 
What did you say then? We wanted children. Did that just come up? Yeah. So someone, someone's trying to tell us a story then here. We'll have to piece it together. Who wanted children? Your husband? Your torch has just gone flick to red again on your head. Does that now and then? Who wanted children? You knew what children and your husband didn't. Maybe that's why she felt scared if she couldn't get pregnant. Conceive. Conceive? Conceive. We can see. We can see you. What can you see? Where are you? Come forward and let us see you properly. Their register. Their register. Yeah, well, they would have had land registers and stuff like that, these farms. If you can see us. Are you going to walk up to the haunted well with us where you used to get your water from? Because we're going to head up there soon and we'd like you to come with us. Yeah, well, they, they probably would have been on these farms. Because they'd have only seen the families, wouldn't they, really, and the people that worked here. Not, they wouldn't have seen too many people. Not like city people. Yeah, they probably would have been. They would have been some friendly farming types, wouldn't they? They probably wonder what the hell we're doing like this in the middle of the night. But the Victorian people did, they were big on ghost investigations. Miss. Maybe she wants to talk to you, miss. Okay. Do you want to talk to a lady? Miss, as in miss. Instead of miss, as in... What's your name? Miss. My name's Alison. I'm Andy. Is this your lovely farm? It must have been beautiful back in the day. Do you know what, Andy? I think we'll get the things and we'll start heading on up to the, the well. Mm. See if anything comes and follows us up. Because this is the well that belonged to the farm. They would have drawn water from here and everything. <clears throat> and I know that other paranormal groups have been up here and they've had activity at this well. So, uh, just the EMF meter and the dog ball on the wall there. We'll take them and um, let's make sure we've not left anything behind. Right, so it's that way straight on, and then there's some steps up to the left. Yeah, some other paranormal groups have been up here and they've had some experiences at this well. So we'll go up there now and see if we can pick anything up. And hopefully, any spirits belonging to this farm, would you like to come with us for a walk up to the well? Show us the way. <coughs> Oh, Winter Hill Mast again, just there in the distance. So you can see, if you know the Lancashire Pennines, you can roughly see where we are. You've got everything, yeah? Yeah. We took off, didn't we, in the Witchwoods, and then we had to walk back and find all our equipment. <laughs> we just pocketed everything and run, didn't we, because people was coming down with torches. And the thing is, like, doing paranormal, it's no problem. You just say, look, we're doing paranormal, and half the time they want to join in. But when you... Andy's wearing a devil's mask and we've got candles lit and we're chanting. It, you know, we, we can't just invite people to join that. It's not so easy to explain that.
Oh, can you hear the owl? Yeah. <laughs> Probably our lights. They're attracted to the lights, aren't they? So this is the well. People have had uh, experiences up here in the past, voices and stuff, didn't they? We watch YouTubers. And some of the YouTubers we've watched have had like voices. Do you know what you should do, Andy? Knock on the door three times and see if anything knocks back. We've agreed now that every time we find a big door like this, you can hear the water. It's a proper well. It's what they would have used at the farm back in them days. Oh God, I'm just my foot in about six inches of mud. Not back if you're there. Utterly. Utterly. Utterly what? Not back of you there. If you stand too long around here, you sink down. I pull my foot out of the swamp then. Brave. Yeah, it's all right. Brave. <laughs> Brave. Oh, right, I've climbed up now. Go on. I'm just trying to get the camera in them. Can sure. That was Andy. Hello, is anybody in there? Please shout back. We know there's a ghost. So we've shown these prongs around because we thought we could have climbed in. But there's prongs. These prongs are stopping us. We're determined sometimes to get into these places. Tilt. Is there anybody in this well who wants to talk to us? Please show yourself on the camera. You've shouted to other people, so can you shout to us, please? Oh, oh it's a, it's a, it's a little spider climbing up. I thought it would. I thought we got our gas so. then. It's a little spider rather web going up. Debunk. <laughs> it's an eight-legged ghost. <laughs> no. Loved. Will you love this well? Was it a romantic place for you to come and meet and sit by the water? It looks like Victorian, doesn't it? Because there would have been um, probably a picture up there. And then down here. It would have been all painted and carved and everything, wouldn't it, back in the day? And there's benches on either side, so you'd have been able to sit in here. It's probably like a bit of a spa, wasn't it? They probably just used to drink the water in here, from, straight from the well. Heat. Yeah, they will come in here to cool off probably, won't they? Come forward if you're there. We know there's a ghost in this well. Other people have picked you up. Come out of the shadows. Lewis, go in there and see if you can pull somebody forward out of the shadows to talk to us. 
Thank you. Was bad. Who was bad? Is this the same person that we talked to at the firm before, or is this a new person? I'm going to try and get down now without putting my leg in a swamp. Do you want me to get the camera? Well, yeah, actually, because then... In fact, you get up and then I've already got like... I've already been up to my ankles in mud once down here. So. It's okay, it's only me. Oh, we're going to have to do it like this. It's okay. She's all right now. We're she's, down. She's all right. Just let me get out of the... Uh, she's down. Just show people the swamp, Andy. Then I'm balancing all the stone here. Yeah, so... Uh, it's not the first time I've fell in a swamp with these tartan pants on, is it? Uh, Do you remember the South Park? Yeah, you did. I fell spread-eagled. Yeah. I fell spread-eagled e everywhere I go. It's just normal. But, yeah. Mm -hmm. Feeling. Feeling. Yeah, yeah, I'm feeling like I'm going to fall back into the swamp any minute soon. Oh. I'll come back on dry land. Yeah. Toward. Toward. Thank you. <laughs> oh, was that beeping then? Yeah, but why though? This is the thing when equipment has a moment, it's usually paranormal. Look at the stuff that's happened to us with the cameras over the last few weeks. At Smithles Hall. We were filming up at Smithles Hall and we got a really good EVP. And then we, the camera well, well, hasn't don't recorded don't it, so we're going to have to show. We're going, we are going to show you that EVP. We're going to do um, an interview at home at Halloween and well, show a couple of EVPs that people might want to see. So sometimes they, they play with equipment. Sometimes I think they're just curious about equipment. What did it say? Towards. Towards. Are you coming towards us? If you can see any mist, that's just breath. Us, it's cold, so that's not ghost. If it will be anything, it will be a white orb. Is that crackling again? Doesn't normally do that, does it? Um, should we put an e EMF meter out? I think I've got one here as well. We'll put these out and see if we get anything. Yeah, I've got one here. So we'll put them on either side. Let's see if they flash up with anything. Uh, I'll put it over here on this window ledge. Right, I'll put one there. <laughs> yeah, let's see what happens in it. I'll keep an eye on them while it's just doing your thing. Did you want to do any um, EVP recordings here? And there's no work come up. So it's been affected, isn't it? That like the camera's been affected in the past. Radio. Oh, get the radio out. Radio. Get the radio out. Maybe it's easier for her to come through on the radio. That's probably what she's trying to do. Come through. That's why it's crackling. She perhaps, or he, or she, or whoever it is, perhaps wants the radio. Because I think that. Different spirits will choose different preferred ways of contacting us. Show yourself at that window if you're there. Let's see your face.
I'm just going to put the radio on now, so let's see if you can communicate through this better. We'll be able to hear your voice if you speak. Yeah, you did use salt. Why is the radio not Seriously, that was working okay before. Clock's on. So why is it not... That was working before we used it in the witch woods. Can see. Can see. It's the same spirit because they're saying the same see. sentences. It's salt, but it's good not come up. Is it run out? Battery's low, do you think, maybe? We've only got about another five minutes of film left as well, Andy, by the way. Battery's going to go after that. I hope that were an hour then, whatever that were over there. Probably just some early morning animals. It's like half past four at morning now, it's just about to crack dawn. Well, it's getting, it must be five o'clock if it's starting to crack dawn. Despised. Maybe she didn't like the what, thing we was doing in the witch woods. And this is the thing, people don't understand it, so they straight away dislike it. But there's words coming up that's just coming out with, and it's not even coming up on there. Really? Uh, I don't know. It's somebody's messing, they're, they're messing with the equipment. And we've had this a few times now, haven't we? It, it, it flashes up radio when it's low battery and it doesn't say anything about low battery and it went down there. Alright, that's weird. So it's just, well this is supposed to be haunted as well. I don't know. Lots of people have had experiences here, you know, part of different that's paranormalists and that. Acting weird. Cause making noises and then words just... Spitting out words and they're not even coming up. All right. I don't know. Okay, if you're here then, so strong with us, show yourself at this window. Is it, is it you messing about? Come the to the window, let's see you peeping through. Is it you messing about with my stuff? So we've only got five minutes left on that. Yeah, about. Yeah, <laughs> about. <laughs> I'll do an EP. Uh, EP. Yeah, we'll finish with some EVPs. And um, I'm going to say good night to you now in case we get cut off and we just disappear. I hate just disappearing like that. But we'll finish with some EVPs and then we'll get this loaded on tomorrow. So it'll be available by after tomorrow. Is it you messing about with my equipment? If it is, just say yes. Why don't you want us to know your story? Same person from down at the farms. Are you a different person? Why are you stopping us from using the radio?
last chance. Just tell us who you are. Okay, so what we're going to do, we're going to end it there tonight, folks, and then um, if we get any EVPs, we will play them back for you when we do our interview at Halloween. At Halloween time, we're going to do uh, an at-home interview and show you, I think there's two EVPs that we haven't shown you on screen footage. So thanks very much for watching, and thank you to all our subscribers. Good night, and we'll see you soon. See you soon.